pocketed with new stories of infidelity. Tiger Woods' wife Ellen has reportedly given her husband six months to prove he won't cheat again in a bid to save their marriage. In the face of alleged infidelity, John Terry's wife Tony has reportedly declared that she will stand by her man. And in her new autobiography, Pauline Prescott has revealed that while she can't forgive husband John for his two-year affair, she has been able to move on and believes that their 49-year-old marriage is now stronger than ever. So, in the light of all these different stories, there's all different takes on it that we've heard there, do you think you'd be able to, to move on if your partner was, was unfaithful? Um, for me, it's, it's just a no. It's happened a few times and I just can't. I can't do it because I continuously picture them together. The trust is gone, so when he says he's going out, then he's, I believe that he's not. And um, I just can't get over that. I wish I could. Maybe, you know, I'm too insecure. I don't know. Maybe mm. I'm just not strong enough. But for me, I wouldn't be able to go, go back. I wouldn't be able to get the relationship back don't, on don't track. Don't you think that every relationship is different? And, OK, mm. you've had some bad experiences in the past, but do you not start again thinking, right... This time, this is a different man, it's a different situation, or is there a little part of your brain that thinks maybe it'll happen again because it's happened before? Um, is it possibly, a, um, yeah, Is probably. it because you've been with people yeah. being unfaithful? Yeah, when I, was, um, when I was about 18, 19, yeah. If I knew then what I knew now and how it makes the wife feel, I would have never have been. It was I did bad things because mm. I, never, I never had any morals. I didn't care. Um, it takes two, doesn't it? To, yeah, but to I did it. I wish I hadn't. And, but I just think if I knew now how a wife would feel, um, I certainly wouldn't have done it. I just couldn't. I couldn't get over the hurdle. I couldn't I, forget. I'd like to think that I could get over the hurdle because um, I, I think, it, like you say, it depends on the circumstances. If it's if it's an isolated situation and there are children involved, um, then I think you have to sometimes kind of look at the bigger picture. Mm. And I think, you know, if you're with someone for a long time, essentially, a, you know, a great person for, say, like, you know, me and Paul, 14 years, if there was an incident where, you know, a, an isolated situation, I would try and be a, you know, look at the whole thing. Because mm. I think, you know, sometimes it's not... Mm. It's not about, oh how dare you do that to me and you mustn't treat me like that because we don't own people. It's, it, you know, you, you have to look at the whole thing and I'd like to think I'd be... Um, do, do you worry you... That, that because you've, you know, not now said that, um, that almost gives yeah, him a licence Yeah, if you're watching, by the to... way, don't even think about it. That's what I mean. <laughs> do, do you worry about the fact that you're prepared to be open-minded that that might be a little... Well, I'm, I'm trying to be open-minded in that I don't think all, all infidelities are the same. You yeah. know, I think it really no, does depend... infidelity to me means that there's something wrong with the marriage. Maybe I'm wrong. But, excuse me, doesn't infidelity mean also, though, that you've lied to somebody that trusts you? Yes. That's more... Yes. I mean, what's worse, somebody who's a serial infidelitist... <laughs> no, <laughs> no, somebody who has... A, uh, there are men, we all know, I was married to one originally, who just always was, you know, my first husband. Um, who Who couldn't... You know, a bit like, you know, people suppose it could not not have affairs with everybody. So... But, you know, we couldn't do it without having me as the base kind of thing, which is, you know, they tell you that's all right. They say, oh, well, I love you, but I'm having all these affairs. Well, that just made me feel so bad and, and so inadequate. And carry on the yeah, because you keep thinking, oh, it'll try, he'll get better, he'll get better. He was never going to get better. But then again, if I found out that, that Michael, Mr Spain, had had a two-year affair with somebody behind my back, I couldn't forgive that because that, that is lying to me day well, What do you think is worse, out. someone who's a serial adulterer and has lots of, say, me meaningless affairs or someone who has a very meaningful affair with the one person, what would be worse? I think they're both well, as bad as each other. Worse. I think, uh, I they're, think they're, both... they're both as bad as each yeah. other. I think if someone's going to, to be, betray you on a regular basis, whether, whether it's with one person or several, I think mm. it's the same sort of thing. Um, I, I think if, you know, if you've got, you know, essentially a good person that makes a mistake, you know, I mean... Mm. You know, c people can be vulnerable and be put in certain situations where, you know, we're human beings and, and I think just to go, actually, I don't... If someone does that to me, they're out on their ear, I think is perhaps being a little bit narrow-minded. To be honest, there's lots of... I'm, I've met several women who are quite happy for their husbands to have an affair because yeah. they're not interested, so, I mean, that one... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not right. Well, that's not right, not right. right. but apparently it's, it's quite common. Yes. But if you love somebody and something like this happens, you can't just stop loving them overnight. If no. there's genuine love there, I'm not, you know... So, certainly with a lot of these situations, you know, when there's money involved, there are a lot of other agendas. Yeah, there's, bigger, you... there's always a bigger picture. Yeah, and I yeah. think if you genuinely love someone and they, don't, and they make a mistake, you can't just stop loving them. OK. We'll have to leave it there. Time for one last break, but there's uh, more to...